Hey friends, it's Amy Dad, the Keto Queen. I hope you're having a great week. It's Thursday, guys. Can you believe the week has flown by as fast as it has? Every single week is the same for me. They just fly by. I hope you guys are having a great one. We are home tonight again cooking a very simple, wonderful, easy, cheap, delicious meal. This is one of my favorite things to eat. Most people, when they think about carbs, they immediately think about ice cream or bread our pastas. When I think about carbs and cheating, this is what I think about. Let me show you guys. Look how beautiful that is. This beautiful skillet of colored, awesome peppers and onions. Do y'all know what I'm cooking? When I think of carbs, this is what I think of. <laughs> I go a little overboard and indulge myself in some beautiful vegetables. So when I eat carbs, the majority of those carbs come from awesome vegetables. Usually a green leafy vegetable, but every once in a while it's these awesome peppers. So I am making the easiest cheesesteak you can possibly make. We're making it with ground beef, so it's cheap, and again, it's delicious. Let me drain this real quick. Vivian says she knows what I'm cooking. So I know you guys have seen me fix it before. I know sometimes I cook the same old stuff, but you know what? If it ain't broken, don't fix it is the way I see it, and my family loves this. So let me drain this real fast, <clears throat> and I want to show you guys something pretty cool. Hang on just a second. Oh, where's my drain? I have got a mess in my kitchen. Here it is. fix the cheesesteak before that's what my question is and what are you doing for dinner tonight what are you doing this low carb or keto friendly specifically so we can share ideas and encourage each other we're making a philly cheesesteak with ground beef much cheaper than actually buying steak and going through the trouble of cutting up steak and making it beautiful we have some ground beef and i've got a red pepper a couple of green peppers i think i got a yellow pepper some onions and turn on simmer look at this crazy hair that's the crazy day i've had so, <laughs> if you guys don't have flavor guides, you don't have to have flavor guides to make a delicious meal. Normally when I cook this, I'll use a fajita packet or my homemade taco seasoning, but I do have flavor guides, so I'm gonna take advantage. And today I'm gonna use steak seasoning and my taco seasoning and some pepper. And I'm seasoning both the peppers and the ground beef with this, mm. with the salt. Again, if you don't have flavor guides, it's perfectly fine. You can use a taco packet. You can use your keto uh, homemade taco seasoning. You can use a fajita packet. But you definitely want to season the vegetables and the ground beef. I cook my vegetables in olive oil, so it's a little seasoning as well. And you can see that ground beef looks just like it's been cooked, so not enough seasoning. I like to see the color change. <laughs> what are you guys doing for dinner tonight? And have you had the cheese steak before? So delicious. If you have it, you definitely want to try it. <laughs> I've got my oven on 400. We're fixing to put this in the oven and melt our cheese. We're gonna mix it all together. So again, super, super, super simple. I'm just gonna show you guys something really cool. I'm gonna show you why my contractors love me. And I wanna show you what they've done today and a little bit of the headaches of going through con construction. <laughs> I'm so excited and it's gonna be amazing when it's all done, but I wanna show you what happens every day when we come home. <laughs> my dogs are always very excited to see me because number one, I've been putting them in a cage. My dogs are not used to living in a cage, so they don't love the contractors, but they get to play with them for a little while, so they don't bite them or anything. They actually get excited for a second until I say it's time to go to Memaw's house. When I say it's time to go to Memaw's house, that means they know they're fixing to get like <laughs> All right, we do a little bit more seasoning because I still don't see this color change much. I'm using a taco and a steak seasoning on my ground beef. My vegetables I've just sliced up and cooked in olive oil with some salt and pepper. A little bit more salt. I love salt. Now when I use salt, I'm not using white salt. I'm using some pink Himalayan salt or Redmond's Real Salt. I love Redmond's Real Salt. It tastes so good, so much better than any pink Himalayan salt I've ever had. Ooh, while we're talking about taste, guys, I gotta remind you, today we are still having the 25% off sale 25% off is better than our monthly 22% off discount. 
for Smart Shipper. So 25% on the most awesome product I have ever used. And I have used a lot of products in the last 20 years of my life to help me combat fat loss and addiction to food. This is the only one that has worked the exact same two years later. I've been drinking this for two years and I still get the exact same feeling and benefits from two years ago. Pretty awesome. I've been maintaining my 40 pound fat loss pretty daggum good. I say like a boss with my keto nat drink. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know so I can send you some information. Just type info in the comments and I'll send you information on these awesome drinks that I love. You do not have to drink them to be successful. I will never tell you that that is the truth because it's not. It's a lie. You do not have to drink them to be successful. They just give you a million times the extra support. <laughs> they help you maintain. They help you live a lifestyle without having to worry about all the carbs because they naturally give you so much energy, appetite control, focus, better mood, better sleep, all the awesome things. All right, I'm going to taste this and see if I got seasoned enough. Woo, yes. That's so good. So I seasoned that with steak seasoning, ooh, taco seasoning, and salt. And I got to add a little more because, man, that is good. I love Flavor God's steak and chop seasoning. It is the most awesome seasoning. Actually, I absolutely love all the seasonings I bought from them. So good. All right, my onions and peppers. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of taco seasoning to them, too. Why not? <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna mix this together in my pan, put it in the oven, and then I'm gonna show you guys the surprise I came home to today. All right, I'm curious what you guys are doing for dinner. I see that, Stacy. Hey, Peppa. Hey, Sarah. I see Deanna on here, Aletha. There's Teresa, she's making chicken meatballs from Sam's with pizza sauce and cheese. Yay! <laughs> it is so delicious, Teresa. I'm glad you saw my video and I inspired you to make something amazing. Janice is doing keto sausage pizza. That is always great. Janice has not done cheesesteak before. Janice, you will absolutely love this. It's so easy and so cheap, and everybody in my family loves it. My son, who doesn't even eat onions and peppers, loves my cheesesteak. Uh, let's see. Deborah says she needs to try it. Vivian says she loves... Loves it too. She's actually, it's actually on her menu for this week. I, you know what? The way I see it, I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, let's see. Teresa says, just joining, what am I making? I'm making cheesesteak. I love cheesesteak. My family loves cheesesteak. So you're getting on right at the perfect moment because we're fixing to mix it together and stick it in the oven. I've got my oven on 400. We're gonna take my ground beef, throw it in my, my pan. I wish I had a bigger one, it's at work. So I've got about a little smaller than a nine by 13. We're just gonna put all this together and mix it up top it with my provolone cheese. You can use any kind of cheese you want. You don't have to use provolone. We can use mozzarella. And a lot of times I do use mozzarella. Mm. Turn these eyes off. Look how beautiful it is. I just love color. I love to cook with all the beautiful color vegetables that keto allows us to have. So with this dish, you can easily add up carbs. You have to keep in mind that peppers and onions do have carbs. Now you're not eating a whole pepper. You're going to eat a lot of meat with it, <laughs> uh, but you do have to keep in mind, you can't eat half this and think you're under 10 carbs. Uh, it just depends on how many onions and peppers you put in it or what your serving size is once you get this mixed up. There's Ricky. All right, so we're just mixing this up so I can uh, get a good even mixture here, and I'm fixing the top with cheese and stick it in the oven. Love, love, love cheese steak. Now, a lot of people do use actual steak. Vivian just said she found some steak on sale somewhere. I always use ground beef because I don't have to worry about slicing the steak. You can cook ground beef really quick. It's cheap. Also, it's delicious. So, I hardly ever use actual steak in my cheese steak. It's usually always ground beef. All right. So, I seasoned my ground beef again with taco seasoning and some steak seasoning. I use Flavor Gods. You don't have to. You can use your own steak seasoning, own taco seasoning, or fajita seasoning. Look how pretty it is. Woo, I'm excited, Ricky Dub. Ricky Dub just walked in. All right, and we're just gonna top it with some provolone slices. Sometimes I use mozzarella shred. <laughs> Ricky says I need to use whatever's gonna get cooked faster. All right. I had nothing all night. Yeah, he said we, but I know what he meant. I haven't eaten all day, y'all, because you know why? I've been fasting with my keto nap. 
The most powerful thing in the world. I did bad. Ricky said he did bad this morning. Ricky went to the gym at 5.45 before he came to meet me at the office for work. He went to the gym, and then he decided he was going to get him a biscuit. I think he said, you went to Burger King, didn't he? Yeah. He went to Burger King, y'all. Burger King and got him croissant. a breakfast croissant. I have not had one of the croissants in like, oh my gosh, some things are so awesome. Want. No, I don't no, want No, no, you, you, you just asked. Uh-uh, I did not ask. Yes, you did. But at least he exercised before he went. But that doesn't work for keto, guys. You can't eat carbs and then exercise and think the carbs disappear. That's not the way it works. I now, didn't. you can eat the biscuit and fast all day I and did. exercise. I did. He did do that. I and did. he's such a butthole. Come here. No. 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 So look at this man. No. He's a, he's a smexy man. So this man is in great shape. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's, a, quit, he's in much better shape than me. This man can eat those carbs. He can fast. He can go to the gym. And he's going to be in ketosis like 30 minutes later. Most of us are not that. Most of us are not that. That easily. <laughs> Most of us are not that easy uh, to be able to do that. But Ricky can. For us normal folks like me... We could eat the carbs and then fast 24 hours. We could exercise. We could fast some more and be back in ketosis in a couple of days. Or drink a keto nat after you've eaten those carbs. Fast, drink a keto nat, you're in ketosis. Okay? But not all of us are like that. So I just don't want you guys to think that you can eat a biscuit and fast and be right back in ketosis. That's not generally how it works. So I've got my oven on 400. It's hot. We're going to stick that in there. And let me show you guys first why my contractors love me. So this is why they love me. Look at that. Where'd you find that at? Is, this real? is that supposed to be Haley? <laughs> that's, that's my daughter. That's my daughter's sketch. Okay. So this is why my contractors love me. We keep them stocked, guys. If you have a good contractor, you have to treat them well. So that's why my contractor loves me because I know he loves Corona. And if you like your contractor and you want them to do a good job for you, you keep them stocked up on the things they love. So I don't mind if they have a drink after work, before work, or even during work, as long as he's doing a great job and he's been doing a fantastic job. So let me show you guys what happens every single day we come home. So they put more floor down. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? I absolutely love this floor. I love my wall colors. I love it. But this is what happens every day we come home. Love you, Martinez. I know you're going to be watching this. This is what happens. <laughs> Every day we come home and there's a new bed full of stuff. So we have to move everything around so we can sleep and, and, and get comfortable. So that's my daughter's bed today. Haley, surprise. When Haley comes home today, she's probably going to want to sleep on the couch. Because <laughs> the living room looks okay. So this is my next room. They're working. Not finished yet with the bathroom. And it is half floored with my old toilet that's gonna be replaced. So that's why they didn't finish that. But look, I, I gotta move everything out of my shower so I can wash my hair tonight. And this is the joys of construction. So this is my son's room, he moved out, but this is still my son's room and they're finishing that up. And my room's a mess again. So every single day it's something new. It's so much fun to come home and figure out what's gonna happen today. <laughs> Like, what are we going to work on tonight so that we can get rested and get some TV done? Because you guys know I love my TV. <laughs> so, we're having a lot of fun. My kitchen, guys, is a disaster. It's a mess. But it's going to be so worth it. We are so excited to be spending the money that we worked so hard to save for. Me and Ricky have been saving for two years to have a huge down payment to go towards a home remodel. And we've been saving our money for two years and paying off a little bit of debt at a time. And today was a very exciting day. If you follow my personal page, you'll see that I paid off my mortgage. So me and Ricky today paid off the mortgage of our home. So this home is ours. So all the money we're putting into it today is just gonna be, oh Lord, Ricky just, Ricky just jumped on. Ricky, jump off. Jump off or you know, I don't need you coming. He said he hit it by accident. Anyway, <laughs> we paid that mortgage off. So the money that we're putting into our home now is just an investment because this is our forever home. We've been here forever and I live close to my mom and I don't know. I just don't want to go into debt for five, you know, $200,000 by moving to another side of town because that's at least the minimum you're going to pay on north side of town. So I love where I live. I don't love all the people that are around here, but hey, this is our home. And we're so excited, guys. And it feels good to be out of debt and to be able to um, sleep at night without worrying about bills. And my husband getting to leave his high paying job that we've been kind of stuck at because he was a high paying employee. And it just feels great to be able to do our own thing. We're really, really, really excited about the way the home remodel is going. And we are going to continue working every single day to get all the things that we want. And I haven't even told you guys what is coming at the end. 
<laughs> but I'm gonna keep it a surprise. So, all right, let's see what, every, what questions you guys have. We are making up some cheesesteak. It is delicious. Um, ooh, Vivian says she made the zucchini boats. I saw a picture of them, Vivian. They were so good, wasn't they? I absolutely love them. Uh, Stacy says she needs to try this. Ooh, Kathy's doing BLTs on shuffles. My husband loves baking shuffles. And he loves BLTs, but every time I get ready to make a BLT, he's like, oh, no, just put the bacon on there. I'm like, okay, that's less work for me. Yay. <laughs> Let's see. Mary says, hey, sweetie. Uh, hey, Pam Robertson, how are you? Uh, thank you, Mary. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Let's see, there's Monica. Pam, experiencing making pumpkin spice shuffles in my sandwich maker. That sounds good. She's experimenting. Pam, you'll have to tell us if they're any good. Hey, Janet, how are you? Hey, Linda. All right, guys, I can talk to you all night. I love to talk. Main thing I wanted to talk to you about today is just making sure you know how easy keto is, how inexpensive keto is. I'm a part of a bunch of groups of people who are keto, and I see all the time people saying that they can't wait for their stimulus check to come in so they can uh, stock up on keto foods because it's so expensive, or they can't do keto anymore because it's so expensive. And I'm like, what are you guys buying? Like, keto is not expensive. It is expensive if you're going to plan on buying a bunch of box processed products, but those are not even keto. So, I mean, it's not expensive. You can eat low carb or keto and have wonderful meals at a very low budget. I never spend, I, I haven't spent over $100 in a week in a long time. But I have been stocking up on some meats when all this craziness happened and I had it in my freezer. So, like, I post my grocery hauls for you guys. I want you to see it's not expensive. It just depends on what you're cooking, what you're focusing on. So, easy, cheap, delicious, low-carb keto meals that are going to make you feel great um, are out there for all of us. I also want to talk to you about the Keto Nat drinks being 25% off if you're interested. If not, no big deal. If you are, let me know. And I wanted to show you uh, why my contractors love me. So, I think I've covered everything. <laughs> Guys, if you have any questions or if I can help you in any way, please send me a message. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, this cheese is starting to melt. Let me show you. Oh, it looks delicious. I'm excited. I haven't eaten all day today. I've been fasting. Last night, Ricky was late because my, my mom and dad come over. Uh, it was probably 7 before we ate last night, and it's uh, uh, 7 now. So I've been 24 hours fasting. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This looks delicious. Ignore the kitchen behind me. So this is my cheesesteak as of right now. You'll see it's all mixed up with that beautiful cheese on top, some provolone. It's going to be delicious, guys. And you don't have to eat it with anything. I just put it on a plate and eat it right out of this. I, to pick up. I usually just plate and eat it right out of the pan. My husband does like to have bread occasionally, so he bought him some brioche buns to eat his cheesesteak tonight. But normally eat any bread with it he just eats it like i do again low carb um all right guys if you have any questions just let me oh my gosh kaylee i just saw kaylee's comment kaylee has lost seven pounds in three weeks she is so so happy kaylee i'm so happy for you and i'm so glad that you're not one of the people who say i've only lost seven pounds in three weeks that's amazing congratulations kaylee and i hope that you feel good too all right guys I love you all. If you have any questions or anything I can help you with, just send me a message. Bye.